Today, Matthew and his crew are returning to seal our new privacy fence. The weather is warm and dry and expected to remain so the entire week. Perfect for applying the oil-based sealer. I can't wait to see the results. So Matthew and his crew have arrived to seal the fence with Ready Seal. Same product I used on the other fence, our deck and our new little birdhouse. This is a messy job. You can really see the change in the color from the stain. Even though it's a natural, transparent stain, it is a cedar based, which really enhances the color of the wood. Well, the overspray is a little hazardous. That's why I have a mask on. Well, also because of COVID-19. two man, actually there should be three, process the spring and then the follow on with the brush. Did I get that right, Jose? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Jose's doing the brush part all by himself, which is pretty tedious. Lots of honeybees. It's wonderful to see. Really brings out the color of the cedar. Matthew's relocated the sprayer so we can finish up on this side. All done with the spraying? All done with spraying. Wow, that took less than an hour. Cleaning out the sprayer with paint thinner. When the fence is dry, it's gonna look fantastic. Final brushing of the top board. Yep. This is awesome, really nice. So how many gallons of sealer did it take? It took Roughly five gallons. Five gallons. Yeah, five gallons. And I get a little bit of what's left. Yeah. Perfect day. Perfect oh, job. Oh, oh. Oh. The sealed fence looks fantastic. I'm very happy with the results. Sealing the fence in 83 degree weather 
was hot and messy, but nothing like installing a new roof. This is unusual for a day in Squim, Washington. It almost feels like we're back in Virginia. I'm touching up the boards that are a little light with seal. One thing about this oil-based sealer, the overlaps don't show up. As long as you feather it out. Looks beautiful.